Okay, so I have this old vase that I'm just not crazy about anymore, and I thought, why not try and pour on it? So it's pretty big. It's, um, I'm going to say uh, 12, 14 inches tall, and um, it's got all these roses and birds on it. And um, yeah, I'm going to try and pour on it today. So let's see what happens. Hey guys, welcome back. So uh, as I'm straightening out here, I'll tell you what got going on. I showed you a little bit ago the, um, the unpainted vase that I want to try and pour on today. And I decided uh, I'd try and coat it a little bit with some paint to help my um, my paint cup flow, so I just took a um, an acrylic or excuse me an artist loft flow acrylic gray and sort of covered it with that to see if that'll help. Um, although you can see that uh, you can still see the pattern through <laughs> through that paint a little bit, so I'm hoping that I chose dark enough colors for my pour to um, to cover this pattern that's already on the base. And I also noticed that up at the top here, um, of course the base is upside down right now, and this is technically the bottom of the base, and there's a little bit of a, a cup in there. And so the paint sort of, as I poured my gray paint on to coat it, the paint sort of sat in that cup on the bottom of the base. So I decided to leave some gray paint in there so that when I flip my cup and pour in the colored colors that I chose, I'm going to adjust you a little bit, um, that maybe uh, the gray paint will stay put and my colors will flow down. So that's my plan. We'll see what happens. So the colors that I chose, um, I've got a rose gold artist loft acrylic. I've got a copper that is Liquitex Basics acrylic. I've got a burnt umber, which is artist loft flow acrylics. And then I mixed a couple of reds, um, Liquitex Basics reds together to hopefully come up with um, the color scheme that I'm after. I'm trying to match some colors in my house and uh, we'll see if it happens. So as always, I have mixed my, pre-mixed my paints with Floetrol, about 80% Floetrol, 20% paint. Mix, 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 no water, no silicone. And I've already dumped all my colors in my cup and here's my pour cup, it's looking pretty fine. I hope that I've got dark enough colors in here. I'm hoping that this burnt umber um, is dark enough, it's kind of at the bottom of this cup, that it's dark enough to cover up this pattern. So let's get going and see what happens. Oh boy. Okay, so I'm pouring and you can see that, oh, I'm pushing the gray out. Ay, ay, ay. Well, this might just be a red, ugly mess. Here comes some of the browns. Lots of different shades of browns here. I might be pouring too fast. I don't know. I'm almost out of paint. My cup's getting empty already. This could be a colossal fail. I don't know. Well, it's making some kind of cool patterns on the side. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's fun. If nothing else, I always like to make a mess, and I'm achieving that much. I guess I've got more paint than I thought. I'm going to hold off a little bit and take a look at how the paint's flowing down. Well, it looks like it's covering up the pattern, so that's good. Um, this side's pretty covered. This side's pretty covered. You can't see on the back here, there's some spots that did not get covered. Um, so I think I'm going to take my, my drippings and sort of help that along. All I'm doing is scooping up the paint on the um, in my pan, in my drip pan, and dabbing it into these blank spots on the side. And hopefully, my pretty colors will flow down. It uh, has more of a pink look than I was after. I was kind of hoping for more red. I guess if you mix brown and red, you're going to get some pink. Or maybe it's the gray under under color that's giving me the pink. 
Nonetheless, I've got some cool patterns like that. Okay, I think I've got this pretty good. Um, I said I'm going to save the rest of this. I don't have, I don't have probably that much left in my cup for sort of touch-ups on this guy. And I think it's going to take a long time to dry because, like I said, there's this sort of beveled area on the bottom of the vase, which is holding a bunch of paint I can see, which I wish it would flow down because the pattern on top is kind of cool. Maybe I'll... No, that's not going to work. <laughs> Tried that. Um, I've got a straw. Let's try a straw. Actually, I'm going to aim it in the direction where I know I'm kind of shy on paint in the back here. Wow, there's a lot of paint in that cup area. I think more than anything, this is like, you know, when you got a straw and uh, a near, near empty cup of pop or ice or water or whatever, and you're blowing in it, and all you're doing is blowing, blowing it around. It's not going anywhere. That's kind of what I'm doing. Ah. Well, you know what? I think I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna let it dry and see what it looks like afterwards. Like I said, I think it's gonna take quite some time to dry because of this huge amount of paint up in the up in this cup area. Anyway, there's my experiment for today. I hope you had fun. Cross your fingers that it doesn't turn out hideous. We'll see. And thanks again for watching. And don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy my videos. And hit the like button if you like this one. Have a great day, guys. Thanks.